John Moses Browning, one of the most famous and respected gun designers in American history, and he has made so many famous guns and designs. You could say he is the Moses of gun designers. He invented the pistol slide and designed the iconic 1911 pistol. Most of American machine guns in World War II were designed by him. 1918 Browning Automatic Rifle, BAR, 1919 Browning, and today's creation. A machine gun that is designed in the end of World War One, equipped on basically every ally thing in World War Two, and is still in use today. M2 Browning Heavy Machine Gun. Madus. Before we get into the creation, it is your boy, the subscribe button. This wonderful sponsor allows you to watch any of my new videos every time they come out. And it can support me as well. So if you like what you see, you know what to do. Like and subscribe with the bell on. And maybe even share the video to someone. Join the cultured people onto the video. Let's jump into the details. This gun is very big and has a lot of details. From back here, we have the trigger and cool, what are these called again? The, the grips, and then there's uh, safety, there's the buffer, and you have lots of circles. This is a top rear sight, and then this is more stuff. And then the top cover is detailed as well. And then lots of circles. And then this side plate and the detailed charging handle. These feeding thing, more pin circle things. Front sight, barrel shroud. Barrel. Very front. Same thing for the whole thing except for here where the bullet goes in and you can see the bullets are detailed. You can see it's pretty nice. The bottom. That's the barrel. Circle, 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 so first of all, we have the top cover. It has the work, uh, moving turning thing to unlock the whole thing. And then the cover goes up, stays in place. And then the bullets are detailed. I'll show you the bullets even more detailed later. And then just pull them out, go back to the box. This is the ammo box I made for it. And you just clip on the top pin there. And then you can see this is the thing that stops the bullets from going even further. That's the left side of the like uh, pulling thing. And then you have a little detail. And then you see this is the bolt. I will show you the bolt moving later. Let's put this back down. How this works is there's a little tab on the edge of the thing here. It just slips into there, locks in. And the top cover can be taken out. It's just held on by this little pin. So you can just take the whole thing out easily. Here's the rear sight. It has markings and then just a nice aperture. The front sight. You can see like this. Yeah. The iron sights can be flipped up as well. So you can see like this. Up and down we go. And it just works. It's just the rear aperture again. This is just for decorations. So it has a kind of working trigger. It just flips that, like moves down and go back up. You can see. And then 
this whole thing pivots on the tripod which i'll show you even later <laughs> these are just little reinforcements because you know this is just a thin strip of cardboard there's no way it's gonna hold itself if i just grip on this and move the whole gun yank it up and down anyways here's the serial number check it out it's asto full um even though it's no not november i mean you've already failed it i'm i'm sure you have don't lie and if you don't know what these serial numbers mean you need to watch more videos subscribe and then here we have the bolt first the bolt handle it goes down like the real thing and then it can like start to wedge the whole thing backwards and it shrink springs back down and then you pull the whole thing back and release so the bolt handle is hooked up by a rubber band and the bolt itself is it has a spring and a guide rod the placement of the guide rod isn't like the real one because i just didn't have enough space for it um kind of messed up but i mean it doesn't matter it still works the bolt handle is independent with the bolt so as you can see here i can do this the work this bolt is pretty cool and the reason i put this in the pole is i already like thought about this for so long and i just couldn't wait to make it so i made it and it worked my theory worked that was great and the bolt uh spring is just the sketchbook coil on top again like my other guns really simple and good to use and then now to the ammo box and the bullets <clears throat> So this is a M2 Browning 50 BMG 100 ammo box and then we have some 50 cal bullets Not a lot but because these take a long time um, These tin foils are like tracers like the first five every five rounds There's one of these like a round count kind of I guess or just so that the people know where they're hitting It's all an excuse for me to save time because these uh, take so so less time I mean because these are so easy to make way easier than these ones so yeah these are time savers uh, each individual one are very detailed it take me about 20 minutes to make one 30 and you can see it's beautiful and because it took me a long time i'm going to let make you stare it for a longer time it's just nice 50 bmg with the m9 belts and you can swing around now i'll show you loading the gun so open the top cover as you would then, and then just put the bullets in and then put the cover down and there we go and then we can start shooting yeah and of course if i really want to i can always hand, hand hold this gun but it has to be like this basically because I can't put my hand under there or, or my hand break if it's a real one. Like this, yeah. I can hold the gun like this. Now I will show you the tripod and how it works. So this is the, I don't know what it's called, I forgot what it's called. It doesn't look alike because I simplified it a lot. But it's the, basically the gear that holds the back of the gun. This is the, just the front swivel. So you can see in the start of the video, this can turn and move. And then this part can turn as well, this part can turn, and this part can go up and down. And the gun can function without this. So this is just a pin that holds it in. And I can just fold this down if I don't need it. This can basically uh, move 360 degrees. As you would. Can keep going but i won't do it anymore and then up and down as well a little bit more and then yeah so this gun's uh the front this part holds on to the main like the main part of the gun this thing just comes out easily smoothly and the whole gun comes off so here we have a tripod this part just moves 360 degrees you can turn it's pretty strong because I had to make it strong because it holds the whole gun. The gun's heavy. And then this is the front bit and it can come off. It's just held in by a pin. It's pretty sturdy. And now I have to get something to support this part. This is a tripod, the front leg. Just a little circle and then a, a long 
tube and then sand it bottom so I can actually get a grip on the floor. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the front. And then the back stuff. These two legs, they are lots of uh, useless paper. The outside is clean, but the inside is just like old stuff that I don't need anymore. Like I originally tried to make it move, but then I remembered about this part and I just can't be bothered to make this one, this thing fold like the real thing. So I just made it like stay like this. Okay, I mean, and it's more strong as well at the same time. So yeah, these two legs are the same as well. They have sanded bottoms. Like this, I just stuck a sandpaper down there. And then, yeah, these parts are quite detailed, this this thing. You see the bottoms, not as detailed, I, I mean clean, because it, it, it's a big thing. I just like use less time on big things because they're not detailed. They don't have to be, it's a waste of time. I also made a aircraft mount for it, <clears throat> like an AA gun mount. It's just basically clams onto my tripod like the normal stuff. Um, this part is for my rod, which I should probably do, I suppose. It's kind of wobbly and so, uh, like, dives to one side because it is still cardboard. No matter how much I reinforce it, it can't be metal and stay upright forever. Just another alternative, and it's pretty fun. So like this, I can put the ammo box in here. This part goes into this uh, groove, like a rail. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Fits. Fits in nicely. And then I can mount the gun here, and then put the bullets in here, and then just do aircraft, AA stuff, as you can see at the start of a video. After I mount the gun on there, I can do anti-aircraft. Kind of works, kind of doesn't, but you know, eh, it's for fun anyways. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and like. Check out our sponsor, the subscribe button. Share to your friends so you can get more subs. Yeah, thanks. And I will see you fellow cultured people in the next one. Goodbye. down and then we just put the bullet in and I should probably put the top cover back on